So in this video, we're going to review a new feature that was added to the anomaly detection feature, uh, where you can set the default severity for the anomalies that get detected. So just as a quick review on anomaly detection, uh, the, you can add them when you add insights into your dashboards. So if I were to add a new insight here, I can choose to add an anomaly detection insight. It's giving me a preview of what this would look like. And then it's asking me to add some fields to this. So what is the time field that you want to detect anomalies across? Uh, what metric do you want us to scan? And what categories do you want to break this down by? So for instance, maybe we'll do it across our customers. So I've added three, these three fields here. I'm saying looking for anomalies uh, in sales by customer using our date field. So now when I choose get started here, the part of this that is new is if you scroll down to the bottom where it says that you can set uh, within these default display options and also underneath the advanced options is uh, adding the severity level. So basically when an anomaly gets scored and the algorithm runs, um, that scoring is then grouped by severity. So low and above would be, uh, you would receive the most anomalies and very high would be the fewest. And then you have a couple options in between. So when I go to configure an alert on these anomalies as a reader to get an email alert on these, I get this exact same kind of categorization where I can say, just send me alerts for only very high anomalies or anomalies that were medium and above, etc. So we're adding that same uh, level of categorization just into the anomaly configuration itself. So really it's limiting the anomalies that are actually getting shown in those insights uh, by, uh, by this kind of filtering mechanism here. So it's still going to find all the anomalies that it, it's, uh, that it can through the algorithm. We're only going to display ones that match your criteria here. And then that's kind of independent from the end users who are going to be configuring alerts on these, they also get a selection of saying, send me an email if you find anything that was higher above or et cetera. So once I go save this and apply, it's only going to uh, display anomalies that met that criteria high and above. So after clicking run now and waiting for the results to come back, we see that uh, it did come back with one anomaly based on the settings that I had. So Merck was the highest uh, scoring anomaly uh, based on the settings in there. So this is actually using the exact same fields in this one. So if I go to explore anomalies on this one, we'll see that Merck actually was found as an anomaly for that other insight that I had configured. Uh, but I hadn't had any default configuration set on this insight. So based on the filters I had applied to this one, uh, this was just the, the highest scoring one based on the severity settings. So it's kind of, you can see the, the filtered list of anomalies that get uh, displayed based on those settings that you configure inside of here. So that's a, a quick little tutorial on how to use the new default severity option inside your configuration for anomaly detection.